Now, I am a firm believer in people having conversations. And I prepare for conversations. Now, people might say, well, Carol, how do I go about doing doing that? Well, you might have heard me talking about goals, rules, guidelines, and ground rules before. And if you haven't, go and jump to the other video. However, one of the things that I do in preparation for writing an email, having a Zoom, having a meeting, doing a coaching, facilitating something, um, I take a page out of uh, educational and training. And one of the things that uh, I do is I ask myself three questions. Now, please steal this and adopt it. First question, what do I want this person or people to know? Second question, as a result of this meeting or this conversation or this interface, what do I want them to do? A third question, how do I want them to feel? Know, do, feel. So that way I'm clear on what type of information I wanna communicate out. Uh, I'm clear on what actions I want people to take. And also I'm clear on managing the emotional climate. So think about it. When you may want them to know something, maybe it's something as simple as what time a meeting is, um, you know, and what do you want them to do? Here's a, here's a little tricky one here, because if you want to compel them to start doing something or stop doing something, that's a little bit more kind of coercive than, um, you know, potentially saying, well, you know, I would like for them to maybe think more about this. Maybe I want them to, maybe you want them to agree with you. Maybe you want them to say, I'm sorry, or maybe you want them to say, I'm, I want them to consider me in making this next decision. Just kind of, so be careful about that do, that it's not like I want them to be, that you're trying to coerce them into something. But then also just, you know, how do you want them to feel? Do you want them to feel included? Do you want them to feel heard? Do you want them to feel as though they were considered and collaborated? And so if you think about it in terms of no do, feel, uh, it can help you prepare a little bit better. It can help you keep a true north during the meeting. And also sometimes just being able to say at the very beginning, you know, I'm trying to think of this, you know, as, as a group, what do we want each other to know as a result of this gathering? What do we want each other to do? And how do we want each other to feel? Uh, and maybe check in at the back. So it's a way of organizing your thoughts, um, stating intentions and gathering a group to create some good group dynamics and also just really kind of assessing at the end, how did we do? If we wanted people to feel included and informed, how did we go about doing that? So as always, know, do, feel, give it a try at least three times in three different areas, maybe in three different modalities and see how it goes. What did you learn about yourself and how well you can connect with others?